Thank you for joining us for this quick video to learn about some updates to the ESOL system. Again, you get to ESOL from entering I4C and clicking Students Real-Time ESOL Student Roster. There are five changes that we're going to point out in this short video. There are two new fields that you'll see for each one of your students in your student roster, and we'll talk about those, service minutes and program plate. There are also, that's the first two changes. There are also two new fields when you're adding new students, and we'll point those out. That's the third, fourth change. And then finally, um, there's an active report that we're going to be asking you to confirm. And that's the fifth item we want to point out. So again, the first two items are specific to the fact that within your roster of your active students, you'll see service minutes and program type. And we ask that you set this for, um, for all your students. We know that many of your schools offer have the same program type for all students. Um, so we've got a function here, assign all student program type that lets you set the program type for all your students with one click of a button, maybe two clicks. So I click on program type and maybe I say that all my students um, are doing an ESL or ELD program. Um, hopefully you'll know what that means. Um, if I sign this, you're going to see that the program type here now changes to ESL, ELD for all the students. You can also, of course, go into an individual student, edit their record, and maybe this one student was doing a different type of program like the two-way immersion program. Um, you also can update the service minutes for each student. Um, so maybe this student was doing greater than five to six hours of uh, service every uh, instruction every week. So if I save that, I now have the those records saved for the individual student. So again, the first two changes um, that we put in place that we're asking you to review is to look in your roster and make sure the service minutes and the program types are correct for each student. The next item I'll point out is when you're adding students. Um, so if I go into a certain school here and I want to find a student that I'm going to add. You'll see that when we when a new student pops up, there are two fields that are now we're going to now ask you to enter. Um, one is the date entered U.S. schools. Now this typically will already be set up because the student ID, when it's created, it should have been entered. But if for some reason it wasn't, we're asking you to enter that date here. Um, and in the second field, we're going to be asking you to enter is a screening score. Um, so we know you all use screening um, program screening assessments for your students. We ask that you capture the score, and hopefully in the future we'll be able to use that to look for student growth um, even after the first year of their program. So those are the third and fourth changes that we wanted to point out when adding students, making sure those two fields are complete. You're not going to have to go back to you know your existing students this year, but going forward you'll be asked to, to make sure those are complete when you add students. The final, the fifth item that we wanted to point out is that we are going to ask all the district ESOL directors um, to review your roster report this year. And so if you're a school your school user and you're not the district um, coordinator for your ESOL program, you don't have to worry about this. Um, but at the district level, we're going to ask the ESOL directors to go in and for when make sure you select all schools and then click your student roster report active. So the active report for your current students. And in this report that lists all your active students, you'll now see that there's a checkbox that you can check to confirm this report. And then you click confirm report and the report will be confirmed. Um, in the future, we may have some other periods of time where we're going to be asking you to confirm your rosters as well, but this is one time when we'll need it at the end of the year. So those are the changes. Um, thank you for your uh, support, and please let us know if you have any questions. Take care.